hello guys welcome back in the laravel 5.8 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn how we can put the form validations okay so now let's get started with that so this is the very simple form that we made in the last video for a moment we are going through with this okay so let's check all these things that we have done already okay so for uh, this form I'm not going to provide the code or I'm not going to write the code for that for now Because I already did that in the last video if you want to see that the link is given in the description box I'm going to start the code from the uh, validation. Okay, so now let's see the old code As you see this is my controller and here we put the, uh, print all the request and this is my blade template here Just I put the form and put the some input fields and put the CRSF token all right and after that it will going to redirect on this controller through the this router here you can see that the login router will provide the uh, YouTube controller on, on the index function so this is the uh, the URL is provided here and uh, we got it here with the controller okay so now let's start how we can write the validation of the code okay so now let's check the output of this one okay so let's say I have uh, some username and some password so you can see that this is the token and this is the my username and this is the password okay so uh, if I just put it blank then you can see that the password and the user is blank and nothing on the validation so this I want to put the validations I don't want to submit the blank things so and I just want to put the mean max numeric value string value required and emails and all these things and how we can I put that okay so for that so first of all just go to your controller and just write here simply uh, just check your dollar request okay and this request is coming from the validation okay so sorry that is a validate function tick all right and in this validate function uh, we have to provide an array and inside the array we will pass the validation with the field okay so first of all let's say i want to put on my user field so for that you just have to write here user and what you want to put on the user so user full field should be required okay nice so after that we can just put the comma here and just put the semicolon here okay so this should this is required okay so and uh, for example first of all I just I want to check this okay so if I am just going to put here, it's it's just redirecting me the back. It's not going again. And if I just put something here, then it will take me on the next page because we put inside something. Okay, because this blank is not going to submit. But why some message is not showing here? So how we can show this message? Okay, to show this message, we have to write some code on our form page. This is my form page. Let's say I just want to display a message here. So that how can I display? for first of all just write a uh, for uh, easiest way just print r something just print r thing is dollar error all okay and let's check what will be come here within the php tag And after that showing the error we will going to put it in a particular manner okay so you can see that by default it's in uh, blank and if I just passing the blank username then it will showing the user field is required but it's something it's not looking cool it's looking this it's a zero index and what and all okay so how can I do it uh, looking nice for that what I can do I can put a for each loop here okay so so that what I'm going to do just I'm going to write here uh, just copy this one and uh, we don't need to this tag also so Laravel provide a very good functionality inside the uh, blade template so for that we can write for each loop like something like this okay and just put it here 
as dollar error nice it's looking some nice so and for the end of the for each loop i can just write here and for each and just i can simply write here li and inside li just write here dollar error okay now let's see what's going on here now you will see that it's looking nice the user field is required it's not something like uh, uh, strange keywords and array okay so uh, if you are thinking what is that then you can watch another video which is uh, for the blade template then why we use the at the rate and why we use this one so they are coming inside the blade template so the link is also given in the description box so if you want to check that you can also do this okay so now just let's go again and i want to check that uh, the password field should be uh, length of the minimum five characters so how can i do that so for that just write here password and you can simply you can write like max uh, just min because minimum we need a five characters so let's just write here five okay now just try to submit it once again then you will see that we got the message the password must be at least five characters okay and if i just put them the both now this field is also blank and this is then we got the double error uh, validation message the user field is required and this and if i just write here something like like password one two three four five six then you will see that there is no error and form is submitted okay so let's check for now like uh, i want to uh, the user should be an email address okay so for that just write here anil now and password put whatever you want to put here and try to submit here and it will tell that the email is the user email is a valid email okay so for that i can just write an email address and i can just check here something like uh, one two three four five six then we can see that we are able to proceed uh, after the validation message okay so these are some uh, basics that uh, let's say if you want to put the uh, just do one thing more required and min with the max also so then you can write here max 10 then you will see that uh, you cannot put the password in any condition password field is required and if i put 2 then it will still that at least 5 character and if i just try to to 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 then it will still telling that the password should not be greater than 10 okay so these are the awesome validations then if you want to check the oh more validation just write your laravel validations and you will find that there is lots of the validation so just go in the uh, just go upside and you will check that there is a kind of lots of validations uh, just uh, go on the validation screen and just check it out here uh, these are the user extensions and user closers and conditions there are lots of uh, things these are the required without and required with and you can see that the present the label not and there is a thousands of validation that you can use them so in the next video we are going to tell something new about the laravel 5.8 and thanks thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video